Mokono. We see the Christian genocide um, in Biafra, uh, Middle Bay, and uh, Southern Kaduna. What is going on there? How do you how do you view what is uh, happening? The killings of the Christians there now. Well, what is going on is ethnic cleansing. What is going on is ethnic domination. Uh, the Fulanese are trying to extend their uh, hegemonic Uthman Damfodian conquest. Uh, to spread across all over uh, the contraption called Nigeria. So what is happening, it is a state-sponsored ethnic cleansing in order to take up uh, and occupy the land of other uh, ethnicities. Um, you said that uh, the killing is state-sponsored killing. Yes. Um, so we want to understand why do you believe that uh, the killings are um, the state sponsored? Well, the killings are state sponsored because if you have followed the killing, you will see that there is a media downplay of the killing. Yeah, of course. Because the media, the mainstream media in Nigeria, we are paid handsomely in order not to report the killing. Now, we say it is, it is state sponsored because you see, there is nothing like farmers had a clash. You can only talk about clash when two people are holding machetes. Yeah. This one is holding machete, this one is holding machete, they clash. Yeah. But what is happening is a particular group, the Fulanese, sponsored by the people in power, are the ones that are armed to the teeth and they are killing people. And they are killing people, sacking villages, occupying communities. occupying communities. And the government will come out on air and say it is hard as farmers' class. Okay, thank you. So that is to say that mm. the government is mm. trying to cover up for the killers. There is another issue there, um, the issue you raise here. Um, the Nigeria, Nigerian media is being dominated by the Western Nigerians, yes. um, Yoruba media. Is allow this um, happen. And, the, and the, the same Yoruba people, the Western Nigerians, they have the biggest um, Pentecostal churches in Nigeria. And the Christians have been killed. You know, their branches, uh, their church branches in the north, they have been killed and slaughtered, including in the middle belt. So why are they playing what is happening there? When you talk about the Westerners, the mm. Yoruba, or when you talk about the Nigerian media mm. being dominated by the Yoruba, that has been the case in, after the war in 1970. Yeah. I can authoritatively tell you that the Yoruba media is the reason why you have Nigeria still underdeveloped. Yes. Because they are partially reporting events as they are because mostly their leaders are Muslims. So, majority of the Yorubas are Muslim. Even these uh, pastors, Yoruba pastors, the Kumuis, mm. the Oyedekbo, mm. the Adeboyes, all these people, they were formerly Muslim. Their yeah. parents were Muslim. Yeah. They discovered that people are making money using Christianity. So that is the reason why they decided to turn uh, the house of God, as they call it, to mm. their, business, their yeah. business center yeah. where people come to bring money. They don't care your welfare. They don't care. I tell you, uh, a deeper life uh, preacher was murdered in Abuja by the mob. Kumuyi did not say anything about it. Rather, he went to Asa Rock to congratulate uh, Buhari at that time when Buhari was still alive. So, when you talk about the Western media, the Yoruba media preponderant, who owns the media in Yoruba? It is Tinubu. Who is Tinubu? Tinubu is the man with more than 100 bank, foreign bank accounts. Tinubu himself is fraud himself. So these are the people protecting the interests of the Fulani just because of the crumbs that they are getting. So they don't care about the common man on the street. So the killing will continue because 
there are people who are there sponsoring it and giving it cover so that the international world will not know what is going on. Sharia, mm. Islam, yeah. Quran, Muslim, mm. we are mentioned in the Nigerian constitution many times, yeah. whereas Christianity and other faiths are not recognized. That means... So, um, you living in a country mm. you call your own, whereby your rights and privileges yes. are not guaranteed mm. under the ground norm, which is the constitution, yeah. that means you are not wanted there. So, why are you there? Mm. So, so, so that the is only a, solution mm. is to exit from Nigeria and go back to the way we were before the colonialists came. I am Kala who made it clear to our audience and the public that Nigeria is sponsoring the genocide going on in Nigeria right now against the Christians for their religious interests. So this is what is going on. We see incessant arrest of Biafrans, detention of Biafrans, killings going on. So what do you have to say here, Mr. Kala? What I have to say is that the people of Biafra, the indigenous people of Biafra, has been the most persecuted people on earth because what you see happening to the Biafrans in Nigeria is something that will never happen in any other climb. Yes. Look at how it is impossible for us to have an international airport in our land so that if I want to travel to New York, I can enter into airport in Aba and go to New York but you have to go to Lagos yeah. or you go to Abuja. Okay, look at if I want to import my goods from Japan, I have to import it through the port of Lagos. Miles away, whereby I'll be paying, paying a lot of money on the road. You see in Biafra land, the whole street of Biafra land is militarized. Where before you pass from this street to the other, you see military checkpoint. It's starting money from you. We are under in a perpetual enslavement in Nigeria. That is the reason why you see all these things happening. Instead of the Nigerian state to deploy the military with the, with the ammunition to the area where the, the Boko Haram and the Fulani Hasmen are invading the Nigerian barracks, they will send it to the Biafra land to intimidate our people, to incarcerate our people, to extort money from our people, to enslave us in perpetuity. So these are the things. And there is no single Fulani has man that has been prosecuted, whether they have killed thousands of people. There is no single Boko Haram a, 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 a fighter that has been prosecuted, even to today. Instead, they, will, they have been releasing them in thousands and recruiting them into the Nigerian army. When they are recruited into the Nigerian army, they are sent direct to the south in order to extort money from ordinary people and intimidate people. So what you are seeing happening to the people of Biafra is a cause for concern. Because they are also using the pastors. Look at there are some some of our some of our people. They went to the church and the pastor is telling them to pray for Nigeria. Our people say no, we don't want to pray for Nigeria because Nigeria is a failed state. And the pastor reported the police to come and arrest them. So these are the things that is happening to the people of Biafra, which can never happen to other people. Can you if if today you put a seaport in in Calabar only and put an uh, international airport, only one in Aba, so that somebody from Lagos will come to Calabar to import his goods and take it to Lagos. Someone from Kano will come to Aba to board international airport to New York. Any day you do it, it will not even last for one day. Nigeria will break up. But the people of Biafra, we have been enduring all these things since 1970 to today. So the people, what I'm saying in effect is that the people of Biafra in Nigeria, under these circumstances, we are under a planned perpetual enslavement. Thank you very much. What we are seeing in Nigeria is unbearable. It's unbearable. Yes, what because we in Nigeria, it's unbearable. Yes, what because we in Nigeria, Nigeria, the Nigerian law states that mm. if 
a citizen is arrested, he must be brought to court within yeah. 24 hours. And if the people holding an individual within 24 hours didn't bring the person to the court, any judge that entertained that case after two months must give an automatic bail to, to the individual. Yeah. But in Nigeria, the reverse is the case. Go to Nigerian prison. You see people awaiting trial because the system is corrupt. The, 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 the Ministry of Internal Affairs is colluding with the Nigerian judiciary in order to put people in jail in order to be taking 20,000, 20, naira on their head as feeding fee every day. Because in Nigeria, they account that every day they feed prisoners with 20,000 naira. That is their funnel of corruption, how they siphon funds into their personal pocket. Because every food that is given to a Nigerian prisoner is not up to 500 naira. But they will write on the paper that it is 20,000. The Minister of Interior, he shares the money with the judiciary. So when you see it, you see that the Nigerian system is very bad. Very, very Look at our people that we are incarcerated unlawfully. The, a judge will charge our people 40 million naira to, to, to give us bail on a charge that is not even known to the laws of Nigeria. Charges that are not in any law book. So these are the things that must be looked into by the world. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Mr. Kalagu. So what we are saying from this platform of the truth of the matter, what we are saying is that what we are seeing in Nigeria is unbearable, that the people of Biafra cannot continue the way things are in Nigeria. And we are using the opportunity to call on Nigerian government to release the people of Biafra, detained strategically.